Right then, Lime Rock Park with the horrible chicane at the bottom of the hill. Let's crack on with the fast lap. Right then, fast lap done and dusted, and let me show you. You don't want to steal that rubbish. Whoops-a-daisy. There we go. Info tab for you. We are using the identical uh, Lime Rock setup as I hit my headphones on there again. Keep doing that. That's really annoying. Uh, anyway, Lime Rock setup is the iRacing one that I'm using. It's not a fixed setup, so I did reduce the brake bias because it's normally 58% on the front axle, so I dropped down to 55.5 or 56, something around there. I think it's a little bit nicer coming through this really awkward section. There's not, you know, It re reduces the weight on the front axle, so the rear end is a little, little bit more stable in my opinion so give it a test see what you think track temp of 107 fahrenheit which is okay quite toasty to be honest and a moderate usage of 44 percent is what i always use for these track guides now the lap i'm going to show you is right down here at the bottom so we see we messed around a little bit we had a crash here and we messed around a little bit more so they're all over the place i'm trying to this part of the circuit is so critical for lap time if you get this wrong you are completely knackered so just trying to work out a decent breaking zone and then we then we start getting into the routine of getting low 57s here and then nipping into the 56s here so i am actually going to show you lap 21 because it is by far the smoothest that i actually got this triple sort of chicane here absolutely spot on and that's what i want to show you but what i will do as i bring my uh, head back above my head right now will be one of the well basically lap 20 and the way i'll go through there so take note of like when i go around the sort of right hander how deep i go into the right hander and then i make the first well the the, the second part of it, it's the left hander i make it way more difficult myself and that is crucial for lap time because you want to straight line these three apexes as best you can to get up the hill as quickly as possible and literally getting that right gained me four tenths and four tenths on the track of this size is absolutely huge so don't try and push speed through here just purely focus on the exit of the corner it's by far the most important because it's quite a long full throttle run down to the penultimate corner so getting a good exit out here could open opportunities for overtaking and obviously increase your lap times and also defending as well which is always handy um but yeah talking about overtaking it's going to be awkward it's all going to be at turn one let's be brutally honest unless there's going to be spinners in here which there may well be if you hit these red sausage curbs they will send you into the sky so bear that in mind uh, otherwise split times here just so you can really narrow down and pinpoint into a certain sector if you are looking to improve your lap times they're all teeny tiny sectors and there's four of them apparently around this tiny circuit but you see the optimal 56.3 and uh, my best is a 56.5 which is similar to what i'm going to show you on this guide uh what i was going to show you my discord will be above my head where the olap b lap turn and replay file will all be hidden in there for you uh, so you can see exactly how i've done this lap and all the telemetry that goes on with it the other thing i am starting to use i'm going to trial it uh, towards the end of the season and if everyone likes it then we'll continue using it but garage 66 it's kind of a telemetry and an improvement sort of uh you know self-criticizing your own lap times uh, website uh, I've, i found it okay at the minute uh, it's free at the moment so uh, yeah give it a check out sign up down bottom i'm not affiliated with them at all it's just something i'm using to try and benefit my track guys here and hopefully you can see my lap times you'll be able to see all of my telemetry from my races so you have to go hunting for these ones but you will be able to see it and compare it with your lap time and see where i'm if i'm making big jumps in certain areas as well so if it's useful let me know in the comments uh if it's not useful let me know in the comments as well that would be awesome uh, otherwise if it did help you out don't forget to like and subscribe to that lovely youtube stuff and yeah let's crack on with a slowdown lap right then lime rock park this will be over in a flash but the start finish straight around here is pretty decent for the considering the size of the circuit but we're using this free marker here to basically turn in and then break in a straight diagonal line across the circuit to the inside of this curb right here give it a little cheeky tickle as you go through not too much because it can unbattle it and then balance the throttle and the pedal to try and keep mid to sort of right hand side of the circuit here the reason you open up a little bit is trying to get a better run through this turn two here you want to kind of get a late apex be careful of drifting out too far wide there that curb on the left is not very wide bring the car over back to the right hand side now 
And this is the point where I start breaking. So I'd get it into the apex. It's a little bit sort of cambered here. So I kind of want to stay close to the white line. Absolutely cut this corner as much as you dare. Be careful. There is a slowdown, I believe, there and definitely an off track. And then when you come around here, you want that little bump there on the white line. When you get to that short shift into third and then take this corner absolutely flat out. You can touch the curb, but the curb will actually push you wide on exit. And you can see them tire barriers do come out to greet you, which is very, very handy. Through these little sort of sweeping S's, I suppose you call them. Absolutely no problem around there. But you're looking for that tree and kind of the shadow on the ground break before a couple of car lengths before use the curve on entry and again don't push the uh, the entry speed in here make sure you get that corner turn and make sure you get a straight line up the hill as best you can that will really help acceleration up here people will go faster into that corner and suffer on the way out so make sure you get a slow exit uh, slow entry fast exit that's what we want over to the left-hand side now, and there's kind of like three trees that kind of lean out into the track, and I kind of use a second one there. It's a very awkward and very distant braking zone, but third gear around here, do not touch the curb on the apex. Just get close to it and give it a little cheeky tick kiss on the way past, and you should be golden. Be careful of the little bumps and barrier here on the left-hand side. Coming down now for the last corner, short shift into fourth, and you're using the dip. So you want to turn in just before the dip because you will get nice rotation. You can touch the curb here ever so slightly, but again, not too much because it'll push you wide, and you can stick a little bit of a tire there just to make sure you can survive the car does it a little bit twitch you can see there it takes me a while to uh, collect it back up but you should be absolutely fine ideally don't touch the grass because you need that slingshot down the straight but you can survive if you uh, if you do touch it you can go well well really out far wide if you really want but it does get really really sketchy but anyway that is us across the line in a 56 571 so yeah Little bit of improvement I can make there myself, particularly on the last corner, because that will help this lap and the next lap, obviously. But yeah, very, very awkward racing here. Not many chances to overtake. Um, basically, see the checker flag on this one and get dive bombs into turn one. That's going to be your answer around here. Otherwise, if this has helped you out, don't forget to like and subscribe to that lovely YouTube stuff, and I'll catch you on the next one.